makes five changes to her starting lineup. New faces everywhere, Kate. Now they're still lining up in a 4-2-3-1. Engen and Krieger get a chance tonight, both more defensive. Sylvia Nye, the German coach, will step down after the Olympics. Also a 4-2-3-1. Who are you watching? Marjan, number 10. Some call her the best in the entire game. Number one versus number two. The step over. Almost a perfect start. Well, the U.S. has typically started. Flicked through the box, and it'll be a goal kick for Hope Solo. Fucking 1v1. Loaded it over everything. Because Germany commits so many numbers forward, they are on side into the penalty area. Kristen Press to the left foot. Short with a diving stop. Well, a great of space. This time she goes right foot and is denied by Schultz. Cleared only as far as Krieger. There's Marjan. We haven't called her name often. Leonie Meyer from distance. Hope Solo made sure to tip it wide. Leonie Meyer, a newcomer for the German team, playing on the wide right flank, has a little bit of space. Takes Mitzog. Left foot of delivery, headed into the box. Killer shot wide at the near post. Germany starting to feel it. Well, if there's any reason why Kershawski, a right-footed player, is playing on the left is because she likes to cut in and allows Kema to take that space wide and to get forward in the attack. She starts it off with the cross, gets it back from mid-tag. Looking for the run of Dunn, nice turn. Oh, spot, it turns over to mid-tag. Fires right-footed and puts Germany in front. Anya Mittag, what a hit! The reason why you play against Germany and against these teams of top caliber is because if your touch is not perfect, you leave yourself vulnerable and the other team will penalize you for it. And that's exactly what contributes this goal. Krieger looking to try to create Morgan with two, Morgan Bryan too heavy of a touch and Mittag, no one actually fully committing themselves to step up. For Germany to the end line. Good cross, and Engels right back to Germany. Deflected shot over the top. And there'll be another corner kick coming. What can the U.S. do here, Kate, to adjust and handle this German pressure? Right now, they need to dispossess them, and then actually connect. Chipping it forward for Morgan. Around Bartuzia. What an absolutely spectacular goal. Two and two games for Alex Morgan. You want your goal scorer to have confidence, and she's going to earn a ton from this. Megan Kleinberg picks her head up, realizes there's a gap of space in behind a high German backline. But look at the agility. And her ability to control that ball under balance, full speed, have the poison presence to chip it up. Oh. Behind for six minutes. Chance to go ahead here. It's Mewis. Shots deflected and it slips in. It's a break, but Sam Mewis will take it. Goal number two for her. Goal number two for the U.S. If you're Germany right now, you're putting your hands in your head because you had them locked down, but you're dispossessed because you played too slow. And Sam Lewis recognizes she had the cross is deflected. Clear. Oh That'll do it for the first half from Boca Raton. The U.S. women's national team tested as they haven't been since last summer's Women's World Cup triumph. Second half underway from Boca Raton, Florida. Oski on the run. Across the face of goal and Solo had to tip it wide. 
It wasn't going in, but it was dangerous enough. Uh, Kershavsky, it didn't look like she was that fast, but watch her speed allow her to separate from the United States. Not just one defender. But look at cannot go any the goal for her number 64 in her international career. And in the last, here's a steal by Mitzak. Plays it low to the back post. Kershavsky almost got there. And this time, Solo didn't try and palm it away. Oh, there's no way Solo could even hear. Ball still loose. And Alma Schultz is not inspiring confidence for Germany tonight. No, she's not, but I actually don't think, I think that was more on Lloyd. Good look for Press. That cross is deflected, and this time, after getting ahead to it. And there's another physical challenge, Kershavsky on Sauerbrunn. She says, no hard feelings. Gets a yellow card anyway. I think that's more in a... Cuts it back, and it's dealt with by Bobbitt Petter. And then out off of Germany for a corner. That all. And here's Marajan lining it up. Hope Solo to her left. No problem. Uh, just from distance, she's able to unleash such a powerful shot with incredible accuracy. That's one thing when you watch the Germans train. Morgan, she does the rest. This is definitely. Top 10 nominee. A well-rated ball in behind the German defense, but look at her ability to stay on her feet and her agility to knock it up over a player. You know, everyone says how fast she is and how well she times her runs, but really, you combine that with her. Tracked down by Krieger. And Haran on the run. Lloyd taken down. Dangerous free kick coming. Carly Lloyd blocked by the wall. Had to play quickly again, too quickly. Klingenberg. Yeah, she's doing the right thing. Take your time getting up. What a beautiful ball from Megan Klingenberg. Intercepts this pass due to her anticipation. Ahead for Klingenberg. Inside. Carly Lloyd couldn't get the last touch. Megan Klingenberg plays outside wide mid in college, played there overseas, and now as an outside backwards, getting to see her playmaking ability. She's Morgan leaves it for Heath. Tobin Heath taken down. And Leonie Meyer definitely getting a yellow card. That's some of that combination play you were looking for. Oh, with those players out there, they're looking for each other, not going through, but trying to connect one and two touches. Brings it inside. So both Heath and Brian over this. It's Brian again. Up and out off a German head for a U.S. corner. They target her here. And playing in front of these crowds. As that long shot goes wide. Mallory Pugh giving chase. And it could have been a corner because Alma, or Alma Schultz clearly touched that. It's just, gets a good cross in. Goal beat France 1-0 on a late Alex Morgan goal. They come from behind to beat Germany 2-1 and go 3-0 to take the inaugural She Believes Cup in 2016. Oh, there's a physical battle. There was skill. There was